You get me. What's good, everybody? It's Larry. L. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to go over something really cool. The homies at Mixed In Key sent me the new update of Captain Plugins 5, and it's ridiculous. So in this video today, I'm going to show you all the new updates, all the new features. And if you're not familiar, you definitely will be by the end of this video. Watch all the way to the end for a good prize, for a secret little prize. Make sure you share this with a friend if you get me. Let's hop right into it. Oh, right now, I have Captain Chords open, and... What's really cool in here is that you can now um, change MIDI around and you have a lot more freedom in the MIDI editing. You can double click to add, delete, move, resize. You can easily create and modify chords, manipulate your MIDI within the plugin. It's really dope. So let's add a chord and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let's just add an A minor. Yeah. So let's say we wanted to move this E up or down an octave like let's say we wanted to get rid of that e and move it down an octave you could just drag it click and drag it now nice so if you double click on any note you can delete it as well and then if you want to add a different one you can do that you can move it up and down you want to move that back up to an e Something else that's really cool about Captain Chords is now you can like trim these notes here so you can trim and make these chords a lot shorter. You can copy and paste these over using shift and drag your mouse over. Then you can like add single notes here too as well. So you can add another note to that chord. Delete it by double clicking it. You could drag these notes around if you wanted to. You can add another note here, single note on top of that. So then that way you can have two chords and then you can play a single note if you'd like to as well. Another really cool feature is now in all of the plugins for that matter, I think Captain Chord, Captain Play, Captain Melody, anything that you can like create sound with, with a virtual instrument like VST, like any instruments like pianos, keys, anything like that. I don't know if you guys have been following me for a little bit, but I did a video not too long ago about how to route any plugin into Captain. This is a new feature with the new update. Now you don't have to go through that process anymore. You can do it right within the plugin. Super dope. You just click on this little tab over to the left, click plugins, and then you can scan for VSTs. It's going to find all your VST plugins, and then it's going to give you a list of them, and you can just click. So I'm going to use probably like Silent or Omnisphere. Any VST that you like that you like to use on the regular, you can drop right into Captain Chords, Melody, Play, anything. So now that it's scanned all of my plugins, I can just go through this list, and we can just double-click on a plugin that we want to open up. Let's do Silent. Double-click on it, and then you can hit Show Plugin. And now you're using silent within captain chords so you don't have to open another instance of it up in your dog go ahead choose a different sound that you want to use and it's playing it it's playing now it's playing it within captain chords fire update fire update all right, so now the third brand new thing about Captain Chords is there's a second row. So you can customize per scale degree. You can uh, tweak those little those chords around a little bit more with these buttons down underneath. There's a second row here. So you can hit sustain, C sustain, um, anything like that. Pretty cool. So in Captain Beat, they updated uh, a whole bunch of new drum fills. So you can go to this little drum fill section and then just scrub through drum fills and you can see on the end of the bar right here on the end of that fourth bar it'll add that drum fill in so you can just kind of scrub through so you can, you can go through this list if you wanted to also and then of course you can change the drum samples to your liking too so you don't have to keep these drum samples you can go through you could change that clap to something different up here. This is all normal, but if you're not familiar with Captain Beat, you can totally customize these plugins to your liking. It's so user-friendly and it's so customizable. It's it's crazy. So not only do they have brand new drum fills, a huge pack of brand new drum fills, but you can go ahead and you can swap those sounds out any way you'd like. And like before, you could drag and drop the MIDI or you can save the audio into your playlist as well. All right. Here's a really dope feature. They just now allowed you to import your own banks of drums. So if you're into uh, Captain Beat and you want to just put your own drums that you made in there or just drums that are from other packs, you could totally do that now. You just go to import bank and then you could just scrub your computer 
if you wanted to import your own banks it just have to be MIDI files and then you can go ahead and add your own MIDI loops in there you can add your own samples so there's three new pattern packs that are included with the captain 5 update produced by Eldre, Polaris and Jack Masic each pattern pack contains 20 original MIDI loops created by the artist so there's some really cool new features inside of captain play if you go and you choose your key right here I got D major you could choose anything you'd like when you open it up. You can go to a computer keyboard or a MIDI keyboard. They work automatically right there. You can see I'm on my computer keyboard right now. It looks a little bit different. We'll start at the top. So we're in D major and this top row right here, one through seven are all borrowed chords. And then if you go down to the second row, it's inverted up seventh. And then the next row is the most common. And the bottom row is inverted down and pretty chords. So dope. So what's really cool about this is that you can hold shift. The shift works with the bottom row right here z through m and it works with the second row q through u as well so it'll add more notes it'll add a seventh on this inverted chord right here on q through u it'll add uh, a seventh on top of that so we'll start with the second row here and you can see the difference that's with shift that's with shift and this is without so then on the bottom row z through m also, it adds some more notes into those chords, so check this out. This is a regular chord on Z. That's a D major chord. And this is with shift. And then X. It's an E minor chord. It's an E minor sixth. And then if you, you're ready to record, all you got to do is hit the space bar. And you can start recording your chords like that. You're not going to play a bad chord, which is really dope. It's so, it's so cool because you can just like play along to your song and not hit a wrong chord. You can also do the same exact thing within Captain Chords, so definitely check that out. All these features are in Captain Plugins 5. It should be out right now. You can hit a link in the description below. You can get 10% off using my link. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. And as always, share this with a friend if you get me.